Hello, 2,000 followers. That's wild. It appears that just like a deity of the ancients, I gain power by having more followers. So now I'm able to project my avatar straight onto the videos. How brilliant. In any case, in this video, I wanted to show you how to use Telegram to send voice notes into Obsidian that then get transcribed as text. Uh, and all for free in just a couple of simple steps so that you can keep building your own infinite exobrain and store knowledge just by sending voice notes through Telegram. So let's begin. I would say that this might take uh, up to 20 minutes to just wire everything up, um, but you will need to sign up to some free accounts if you haven't done so already. So of course, if you're using Obsidian for your knowledge management or part of it, you'll need to have Obsidian and some way to synchronize it to a cloud folder where we can then save the text transcriptions of the voice notes that we sent. I'm using the free community plugin called Remotely Save to synchronize my vault in Obsidian to a Dropbox account, a folder on Dropbox. Both of those are all free. I, of course, have a Telegram account. And then to do the audio transcription, there are lots of options. I'm using an Eden AI account uh, which gave me $10 of starter credit, and there are ways to get more, and that's just enough for hours and hours of transcription by the looks of things. And then to build this integration, uh, I'm using make.com, formerly Integromat, uh, where I've got another video showing how to uh, set that up, and it gives you a thousand operations per month. So that's plenty to uh, keep you sending many voice notes per day. And the steps we're going to go through, and I'm going to export the uh, blueprint for make.com so you can import it and go from there, are the following. So we need a Telegram bot. We need something that's going to listen to our voice notes, and we can do that for free using Botfather. We'll take the token from that and then wire it up using make.com's visual interface for creating integrations. We are going to create a channel in Telegram and put the bot as an admin. We'll keep it private, so we'll be the only people using the channel, and that's where we'll be sending our voice notes. We will create a scenario in make.com to watch the bot. So whenever a voice note is sent to that channel, then make.com should be able to pick that up and do stuff with it. So what will it do? Well, as you can see here, we will use make.com to grab that audio file and download it, send it to Eden AI's audio transcription service, wait a while, until that transcription's done, and then grab that text, and then save it down. Here I'm also extracting the topic of that text, or giving it a shot using AI, and then we're going to save the file, the resulting text file, simply as a doc on Dropbox. But since Obsidian uses .md files, we are going to rename and convert that .doc file into a .md file. So that's it. We send a voice note, we have a way to capture it, we send it to this uh, voice transcription service, wait for it to complete, take that text, save it down, and there we go. Then we'll be able to have our Obsidian with voice notes like this one, and these ones that uh, get transcribed really, really well as well. The technology for transcription is amazing these days. So let me jump over to... Uh, Obsidian and show this in more detail. I'm just going to reconstruct what we have. Um, so first step, Telegram bot. To have that working, we need a webhook, we need a connection. I'll just recap the steps of how you basically do this in Telegram. You send a message called slash new bot that starts the bot creation process. We give it a name, I gave it Obsidian Notes, and then this username that's unique, Obsidian Note Bot, it has to end in bot, and then you get your uh, bot ID, and you get this private API token that you shouldn't share with anyone. But it is critical to grab it so that you can use it in the integration. So create your bot, get your token, create a channel, invite your bot to it, and make it admin. So here I have my private channel where I've got uh, the bot as an admin of the channel. So now I send voice notes to this channel, like you see here, and they will be uh, listened to by make.com using that bot token. 
Next, I've added the step to actually download that audio file. So that's just the operation to download a file. And I'm passing the file voice file ID. So here we see the options that uh, the Telegram messages can have. And I am just grabbing from the channel post the voice file ID. So that's the uh, unique ID of the, uh, the file. That seems to work fine. And then what I'm doing is I'm using another component from Meg.com's extensive options called Eden AI, which is this facility that's intending to link many different AI providers. So you have a whole bunch to choose from. And here I'm downloading a file and using the operation to transcribe the audio file into text. So download a file, Telegram bot download file is the file that I'm grabbing onto, whatever comes from here. This tells it to grab onto that one. And then you can choose what provider to go to. I'm using Assembly AI. I've tested a few of these. This seems to work snappishly and fine. And I'm always expecting there to be just one speaker and don't have a profanity filter. You can use different languages and uh, tweak it as you like. So change that to German, Spanish, anything else uh, in terms of the options. Now, I don't think there's a callback here. So I just put a sleep operation from tools here in between to I'm not in a rush for the thing to get transcribed, right? So I will uh, use a tool to maybe set a 90 second delay, whatever, to make sure that the transcription has time to process. And once that's done, we move on to the second half. We grab the transcription and do something with it. So the next step here in the make integration is to get the audio transcription. And I'm just passing the public ID from whatever result that eventually comes from the audio transcription. So this tells my operation that, hey, what tra what transcription do I want to grab onto? Well, it's this specific one, and I have the permissions for that. So now I've got the text, and we can then have this additional optional step, which I use to label my notes, which is to extract the topic from the text. So use AI to try and synthesize something from the result text, right? So here, in this step, we see what comes out from the audio transcription. Here, the text is, fly me to the moon and let me dance amongst the stars. That's the text. So if we pass this to, let's say, OpenAI, it's going to synthesize and extract the topic of whatever I'm talking about. And that then becomes a variable we can use. Then I'm just using uh, an option to uh, from Dropbox. So I've got my Dropbox account. I've synchronized my uh, Obsidian there. So we have Dropbox apps and then the remotely saved plugin and then notes and within that, this notes folder from my notes vault. And that's where I'm pointing my Dropbox to. So this is Dropbox synchronized folder. So that's what we're gonna go to. That's what the connection here says. And here I'm choosing that folder, apps, wherever remotely saved goes notes and then notes and then i'm going to map the public id which should be unique and uh, it's just going to create a text file and i'm going to fill the contents of that text file with whatever that uh, text from the transcription is so fly me to the moon etc so it's going to get a random uh, arbitrary name and get saved as a doc file because ultimately i want to save it as a md file for obsidian so then you could just save it with whatever user name you want. However, I've added this router to have two different options based on whether the AI is able to derive a topic or not. Sometimes it doesn't seem to be able to do that. So I have a filter on this branch saying that if the result of the topic extraction is a success, result success, then go down this path and rename the file with the category that comes from the result. So it's going to categorize the text. And I'm also going to grab the number of the message ID and then have .md at the end. That's critical, right? So for Obsidian to recognize the files, we want to have the file renamed from .doc to .md. And then if no topic is derived, I'm just going to use the message ID as a number. So then I'll need to go to Obsidian and maybe categorize it myself. But basically, that's all you need. You're grabbing it from that Telegram integration we've wired up, sending it to Eden AI, where there's, um, I get $10 of free transcription uh, money. There's other ways to get more of it, or you can 
chuck some more money if you really integrate this into your workflow. A thousand operations from uh, make.com per month, uh, which seems to work enough well, uh, well enough for me. And Dropbox, of course, is free to use up to a certain uh, limit in terms of gigabytes. And uh, I'm going to export this blueprint, which you can then import and hook up to your own connections. And finally, let's see if we can test this magic right live. So let's see if we can try this out. Make a video about how to connect Telegram and Obsidian by sending voice notes through Telegram that then get transcribed as text. We see that that voice note was received, it was downloaded, it was sent to Eden AI. We're waiting at the 90 seconds I've put in for the transcription to happen. The waiting is complete, the audio transcription has come through, and it has been able to derive a topic. So what do we get? We get a file instructional video, right? So we can check these steps. The text was transcribed to make a video about how to connect Telegram and Obsidian by sending voice notes through Telegram that then get transcribed as text. Very good transcription of my speech. And then uh, extracting the topic, the result is instructional video. And we should then be able to go to our Dropbox and see that file completed. Uh, instructional video creation. There we go. And in Obsidian, similarly, we can find it there. So there you have it. That's a backbone for sending voice notes transcribed for free into Obsidian. And you can then expand it in any direction you want using Make or any other integration platform. Hopefully that was enjoyable. Let me know if you liked it, uh, any questions and uh, suggestions for future stuff. And don't forget to have a great day.